Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, February 19, 2013. This is the first trading sh session of the week after the President's holiday, which was yesterday. Let's jump right into the charts here. We'll start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. What you'll see here first is that the futures are trading higher by about three and a half points to 15, 20, 50 per contract. Again, uh, markets continue to grind higher each and every day as we see it. Uh, one, right now, what you want to watch for is how the market reacts after the opening bell because right now there's just not a lot of volume. Markets are somewhat euphoric. The European markets seem to re be rebounding today, and that is helping markets really across the board. So, uh, again, we'll keep an eye out, um, and we'll see what happens after the opening bell. But uh, right now, 8.25 in the morning, there doesn't seem to be a lot of fear out there. Um, U.S. markets all uh, reacting fairly positive, at least um, at the start of this new trading week. Now, a couple of other things. As I mentioned, um, the European markets are all trading higher today. You do have the German DAX trading higher by about 1.1%. Uh, the CAC 40, uh, which is France, uh, trading higher by 1.4%. Spain and, and Italy both about higher by about 1%. And then you have the FTSE 100, which is up about a half a percent. Uh, it's going to be important to see how the market reacts by the middle of the day. Uh, right now, the markets are euphoric. There was that G20 meeting over the weekend. So it looks like um, you know there wasn't a lot of panic out there. People are talking about, oh, no, there's not a currency war. There's just, you know, uh, we're just devaluing currencies. And believe me, it, it's it's a mad rush to devalue your currency as fast as as you can. And that's what's pretty much happening at at least at the moment. So um, it's all about the currency world. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index this morning, what you'll see is a dollar um, is trading higher by about 10 cents but has pulled back off the morning highs right around made around six o'clock in the morning so again a dollar pulls back the market will inflate higher uh... you do have the european uh... the euro today you can see this one here is, has actually rebounded a little bit off of the lows despite um, being lower by just just a couple ticks here on the session but uh... again that has rebounded a little bit and and that's what it all, it all is about it's all about the currency um, you'll take a look at the uh... dollar yen what you'll see here is that little weakness there. So uh, again, you know, we're going to have to watch these currency markets. Really, that's mostly um, what, what what drives the equity markets these days. It's not so much the bond market, which gets talked about over and over. It's really the currency market. <clears throat> the weaker your currency is, the higher your stock market goes. That's pretty much the gist of it. In the meantime, all right, let's take a look back at the um, at, at a few other things here. Uh, there really isn't a lot of action today in gold. Uh, gold will resume uh, shortly, but um, not, I'm not seeing any real um, news here in the gold market. Uh, gold on um, Friday uh, sold off pretty sharply, so we'll see how it plays out today. Right now, there's, there's really not a lot to, to say with gold. Um, take a look at the GLD this morning. It's still around that 155.87 level. So again, um, you know, you're not seeing any real change from Friday's close. Uh, the same could be said for the for for oil light sweet crude um, on Friday finishing down around ninety five dollars and seventy eight cents a barrel. Take a look at the USO which finished on Friday around thirty four dollars and seventy two cents. It's pretty much right in the same place. So we're not going to make a big deal about gold and oil right now. Although um, both will probably be weaker with a stronger dollar. Gold is now coming down into some very good support levels. So traders should be aware of that at least at the moment. Um, the downside on gold could be a little bit further, but it, it probably is somewhat limited at this stage of the game since it has fallen so sharply last week. Um, there are some gap plays that I'm looking at this morning. It's not overwhelming, but we do, I think, have one, two, three gap plays, so we'll have those posted in the chat room a little bit later. A um, couple of things you want to take note of is ODP, which is, um, <clears throat> well, I think it's ODP. I typed in the wrong symbol there. That's uh, Office Depot. They are looking, I think, at merging uh, with Office Max. So again, both of those stocks are trading higher. OMX is also getting a bid today. So both of those stocks are looking to merge with each other, form some consolidation in the industry group, similar to what the airlines have been doing. So both of those stocks are trading higher today. Um, I don't think either one of them is going to go much higher, though. So I don't have a great level at this moment, but 
I don't think either one of those stocks, Office Max or Office Depot, are going to trade significantly higher than these pre-market levels. So I would not be buyers up here. Um, there is a proposed merger in the works, so you want to take that into consideration. Um, we'll see how that plays out, but do not chase these things up here. I would not be buying them up here, either one of them, up at these levels. So uh, you want to be a little bit careful there. Also, last night, uh, very, very important, um, but I believe last night the Asian markets uh, traded a little bit lower. The Shanghai was the big loser last night. That finally opening opened up after the Chinese holiday, um, as it has been closed. <clears throat> but the Shanghai was, was down 1.6%. The Hang Seng was down about 1%. And the Nikkei 225, which is completely different, that is Japan. Um, that market has been roaring and soaring. That was down about three-tenths of 1%. The Indian Sensex, uh, the Bombay Index, that was up about seven-tenths of 1%. And Singapore was up about a quarter of 1%. So um, take it for what it's worth. I think traders should be careful today with the Chinese ADRs. Okay, so stocks like maybe Baidu, China Mobile, um, they could all be under pressure. You can see Baidu under a little bit of pressure already. Maybe Cinecorp. I haven't looked at this one yet. That one's holding up pretty well. But Chinese ADRs could be under some pressure going forward. So uh, you want to be a little bit careful there um, because China did sell off pretty sharply last night. 1.6% decline is, is really nothing to sneeze at. So, uh, again, be a little bit careful on the Chinese ADRs uh, this morning. Uh, that's pretty much everything that I have today. It is the first day of the new uh, trading week. So, again, uh, we'll see if we get any volume. Volume has been very, very light. Remember, light volume will help keep these markets buoyant. It is a dull market at the moment. But, uh, again, we are very, very overbought and extended, and we'll see how this plays out in a little while. Uh, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and I'll see you all on the charts. Take it easy, everyone.